How can he possibly be sexy with a zit like as big as your cheek? Did that get worse? Oh, go away. Yep, mm hmm. That's right, that's the Fab Five. Yeah, I'm watching E! News and I'm obsessed with watching it because they're talking all about the Olympics. And every day I watch it, I'm just like. <laughs> So enjoy the video. That didn't work. This is a very sultry, sexy cat eye. I think that it will look good on absolutely anybody. And I mean anybody. This is going to look on anybody as pale as you are, as dark as you are, light eyes, brown eyes, this is going to look good on everybody. It's beautiful and it's so universal because it's all matte shades. There's no shimmer in this whatsoever, no sparkle. So it's gonna look good on every single skin tone. It's just like, it's just like a basic going out, smoky eye, I mean for anything, but it has like a really sharp line on the edge. So it's gonna give you an edgy look too. So it's not just like a blah, been there, done that smoky eye, but it's got like a little something to draw the eye. So I hope that you guys like this. Let me know and I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes. I am using Select Cover Up, which is just a regular concealer. And I'm using this because I wanna bring it down around the side of my eye because I'm gonna be putting scotch tape. Yes, scotch tape on my eyes. First, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna peel it off so that the main stickiness is gone so it's not too harsh on that sensitive skin around my eye area. And I'm gonna line this up, make sure you get it underneath your eyelashes on the bottom and I'm gonna line this up just like I did with my recent gel eyeliner tutorial. And you wanna make sure they're both even, obviously. I don't know how I figured it out so quickly, I just popped them on. But you just wanna follow that bottom lash line and up that natural curve of your eye. Okay, so now I'm going in with vanilla. This is a matte eyeshadow by MAC and I'm just gonna use a big brush. I'm just gonna pat it on that inner corner. I'm not really needing that much color in there, so it's just a light wash. Now I'm taking Typographic. This is a dark gray. It almost looks black, but it's not, if you can see it by the black that I showed there. It's just a really dark gray. So I'm gonna take it on a pencil brush and I'm going right along that tape on my outer corner. I'm gonna bring this about halfway to a quarter way into my eyelid, just rubbing back and forth. This tape method is really fun because you get a perfect cat eye every single time and you can be so messy. I mean, you can be like as sloppy as you want to be because this tape is going to save you every time. So now I'm going to load up my brush with Wedge. And this is a mid-tone brown. It's a really great basic brown from MAC. And I am just going to messily blend that up and into my eye. Basically, I just want to eliminate any harsh lines with that gray that I put on. I don't want that gray to be super defined. I just want to get that smoky as kind of a base for the black that I'm going to go in with. So as you can see, there's no like really method to this. I'm just blending it all over the place. By the way, if you just saw a little head walk by, that was my niece, not a ghost. Okay, didn't want to creep you guys out. Anyways, so I'm just blending this all over my lid. You can take it as far in as you want. And then I'm going to take Carbon. This is by MAC. And any matte black will work. Basically, every eyeshadow palette now has matte blacks in it. So I'm going to take that and then follow the same steps that I did with Typographic. And I'm also going to take it and just put it up in my crease. If you don't have a defined crease, that's okay. You can still do this motion and it'll turn out. And I'm just taking it from the point and just bringing it up. Then I'm taking this brush, which is, it. you can use it clean or put more wedge on it. It doesn't matter. Mine is a little dirty because I filmed this tutorial before and then I accidentally deleted it. So I'm refilming it. So there's probably some wedge left on it from before or whatever. But just take any blending brush and just blend that black up. And once again, I'm not doing anything super precise. I'm not trying to stay inside the box or any lines. Just have fun with it and just smoke it around because this is a super smoky eye. So you're able to have fun and not be like really intense and precise on everything. So after I have that on there, I'm going to go back in with more carbon and put it right over that tape again just to darken it up even more. Now you don't have to do this. You don't have to use the carbon. You can just use the gray to make it more of 
a light smoky eye, but I personally don't like grays in the outer corners alone. I think they need to be balanced out with some warm browns or blacks. I just don't personally like grays. A lot of makeup artists I know feel that way as well, and it's just a personal opinion. Um, but I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye now, and as you can see, I kind of swoop down into the crease and then wing it up, and I just blend that through to kind of get that cat eye. So now I'm taking Smolder, and this is an eye coal from MAC, and I'm going to dab it on a brush, any eyeliner brush or smudging brush, whatever you're comfortable with. You can use a Q-tip. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take it. I'm going to smudge it right at my lash line. You can bring it up as high as you want. And then I'm going to take my gel liner that I always use, and I'm going to trace over top of it. I'm sorry that I'm not in focus right now. But the reason that I did the eyeliner, the smolder first, is because I want this gel liner not to look really intense and harsh. I want it to have a little bit of a smoky, airy effect. So now I'm going to take Red Cherry's lashes in number 43, and these have a wing on the end. So it's really going to emphasize that cat eye, as you can see right there. I mean, this look definitely calls for false lashes. It really is going to help emphasize your look. So now I'm taking Makeup Forever's HD Foundation and Max Mineralize. I'm using two in two different colors because I got way too much sun this day and I am so, <laughs> I am burnt. If you can see my chest and my neck, I am so pink. So I was trying to find a color that wasn't like really scary on me because the normal color that I wear was way too light because I got really a lot of color. So I know that this looks like really yellow and golden on me and maybe kind of orange, but that is because I am so pink. Okay, so... I'm doing a bold brow for this look because I feel like bold eyes, bold brows. Okay, so I'm using Cork by MAC and the same brush that I use every single time. I'll have all of the information down below. And then I'm going in with Select Cover Up Concealer in shade NW25. And with my concealer brush, I'm going to start in my inner corner and I'm going to work down into a V shape. And I'm going to go up and a little bit past that wing that I have on my eye. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it up really tightly in my lash line. As you can see, I'm showing you right here. And I'm going to use this as a primer for the eyeshadow I'm going to do under my eye. You can just put on some mascara and call it a night. But I'm going to show you how to make it even more dramatic and smokier with the under eyeshadow. So next, I'm going to take Ben Nye's Banana Powder. And this is really popular right now because of Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. He says that he uses it on every single client that he has sit down in his chair. And it's great because it's a yellow undertone, so it really helps to highlight and brighten that under area. And I love it because I'm having a reaction to the Max Mineral Powder, so this is my replacement, and I'm really, really loving it. Now I'm taking Max Give Me Sun Bronzer and I'm going to use a small 109 contour brush and I'm going to carve out the hollows of my cheeks with this going underneath the cheekbone and up on the sides of my temples and right by my hairline. And you can see here what a difference it makes with one side done and one side not. It really emphasizes the cheekbones and this is something that I do almost every time I do a smoky eye because it just really helps give you that edgy, carved, structured look. And I'm going to put it up right by my hairline on my forehead on both sides. Once again, it's just going to help slim down the face and just give you more structure to the look. Now I'm taking Smolder again and I'm putting it under my eyes. Now I know this looks weird, but I'm using that brush I used to highlight to just push lightly in on my eye and this will help for me tugging that area down really harshly. Um, now I'm going to take a small pencil brush with wedge again, and I'm just going to go back and forth. Once again, nothing too precise. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, and I'm going to blend out that liner that I just put on there. It's going to fall down naturally because it's a coal and it's really creamy, so I'm going to take what's fallen down and just move it around my eye area. Now this light brown color and that black is going to create kind of a gray. But that's okay because it's going to help match the outer corner of the eye. And I'm just going to continue to just go in and just buff it out. I'm not putting any additional products on my brushes. I'm just going to move it around to really smoke it out. But because I'm not in love with that gray look again, I'm going to go in with Embark. And this is a dark chocolate brown, and it's more warm. And I'm going to take this and just dab it in there and rub it around. And this is going to help warm that up so that it's not such a cool tone smoky eye because I don't want cool tone grays on my under eye area, I just don't think that it's that flattering. So this warm brown is going to help give it more of a chocolate smoky eye, which I think is more flattering. And then I'm just taking any brush, I haven't used this before, it's clean, and I'm just moving it around back and forth, just sliding it across my eye, and it's going to help just smoke it out. Okay, 
Now I'm going in with Peaches Blush. Don't neglect your cheeks when you're doing a smoky eye and contouring your face because it's really easy to let the apples of your cheeks just kind of fade away and especially flash photography, you look really washed out. Now I'm taking MAC Soft and Gentle or just any highlighter and on that same brush, I'm just going to brush up over top of my cheekbones and the blush that I just put on. Once again, it's just gonna help draw attention to the face. I love MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm putting mascara on my lashes to help bind the natural and fake ones together. And then I'm gonna do my lower lashes as well. Um, again, optional, if you don't have long lower lashes, you don't have to, but mine look weird because they're covered in eyeshadow, so this is a must for me. I'm taking Revlon's Color Burst Lipstick in Soft Nude, and I am applying it all over the lips. You know how to do it. And I normally don't wear really nude lips, but I figured this was necessary. Now just take any nude lip gloss you have and just top it off for a really shiny coat, and you are done. And I hope you enjoy this completed look, and you have a great night.